Hi there! I'm Max, the wireless mathematical rescue dog. I rescue friends who have math problems. My magic is that without telling them a word, I can math coach them to learn what they need to know. All I have to do is think it, and it pops into their heads. It's wireless! That works because real-world mathematics is always common sense. If you just think your own way through it. Today, I'll be coaching them on how to do some math that is rarely taught in school. How to fraction things. First, we'll be helping Cookie. She's big on fractioning round, flat things like these. The nice thing about round flat things is that when you look at them, you can see what the whole things are. Whoops, here she comes. Time for this pup to turn into a silent setter. Hi, Max. Guess what? Slim and Slab are coming over for a pizza party. I have different kinds of little pizzas. Pizzas aren't good for dogs. So you can have one of these. In order for everyone to get some pizza of each kind, I'll have to break each of them apart. Oh my, if I fracture them in that way, somebody is going to feel cheated. I need for each pizza to be cut into equal parts. So I'll have to cut each pizza into three equal parts. But how do I cut a pizza into three equal parts? Let's see. Fractions are equal parts of a whole, so I'll cut the pizza into three equal parts. This is a 12 inch ruler and I have a 15 inch pizza. Here is 12 inches. Now I'll have to add three more to make the 15 inches. Let's see, 15 divided by three is, um, five. I'll cut every five inches. Wait a minute, those pieces won't be equal. Those won't be real fractions. How do I cut a pizza into three equal parts? Let's see. If I cut right through the middle, that's the diameter, I'll get two equal parts. Bisecting. Cutting into two equal parts. Okay, the whole pizza is cut into two halves. But that won't work for three people. I'll just bisect the halves. Uh-oh, now I have four pieces, fourths, or quarters. For three people, I'll have one-fourth remaining. A remainder. Forget it. No pizza for dogs. If I bisect each piece into halves again, I get eighths. Oh no, I'll still have remainders. Maybe if I bisect again? Hmm. 
I'll still have one remaining. Oh dear, bisecting just won't work. Oh Max, how can I cut this round flat pizza into three equal parts? Oh no, look at the time. Slim and Slab will be here soon. Wait. Look at the clock, Max. The hands of the clock could help me fraction the pizza into thirds. <coughs> Let's see. There are 12 numbers on the clock face. If I divide 12 by 3, I get, um, 4. If I put the hour hand at 12 and count 1, 2, 3, 4, I can move the minute hand to 4. Then I'll count 4 more. 5, 6, 7, 8. I'll place the second hand on 8. I can see that on the clock, but how do I measure and cut the pizza? I know. I'll use the pizza box. We will look at this from my point of view. First, I'll put the pizza on top of the box and draw around it. That makes a pizza-sized circle. Let's put the pizza aside for now. Now I'll put the clock numbers outside of the circle so I can see them. I'll write 12 at the top, 3 on the right, 6 on the bottom, and 9 on the left. Next, I'll fill in the numbers in between these. 1, 2, 4, 5, 7, 8, 10, and 11. I can draw the cut lines down the center. This is called a radius. Now I'll draw the radius from the center to 4 and then the radius from the center to 8. I'll put the pizza back on top of the box so I can cut into three equal parts. I'll fraction it by thirds. Hello. What? You are bringing two guests? Oh no. They're welcome, but... No, I haven't cut the pizza yet. Sure, come on over. Okay, bye. Oh my, Max. Now I have to fraction into five equal pieces. How do I do that?